Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Oh, I didn't call you beautiful people, that felt wrong. Try again. Well, hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on another video. In today's video, we are going to be doing a glutes workout. Wow. This is gonna be good. We're gonna be working on firming and toning and strengthening the glute muscles. For this workout, you don't need any equipment. All you need to do is get a little bit of space and just listen, listen and watch. I'll explain each move. and We can work out together, get sweaty together, improve our health, physical and mental, get those endorphins in. If you like this kind of video, make sure that you give it a huge thumbs up, send it to a friend and challenge them to try it too. Make sure that you join me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Check out my website for more and definitely subscribe for more videos there are so many workouts on this channel without further ado let's get into the workout are you ready to feel the burn let's go all right and we are ready to start the workout the first exercise that we're going to do are these side hip thrusts super effective really going to work with glutes so i want you to lie on your side supporting the weight of the body and with a bent arm on the elbow ready and go so i want you to lift up the hips and um, so you're lifting the hips up off the mat as well as thrusting them forward and you're sitting back into position so when you're sat back your knees should be slightly in front of you at about a 90 degree bend and then you're using the glutes to lift the hips up and forward so bringing the body into a straight line from shoulder to hip to knee when you're in the up position and then sitting back holding the core nice and tight intentionally squeezing the glutes this is a super effective exercise you guys it is so so good you will feel the burn um, you can keep the knees nice and open, one foot on top of the other, doing really well and relax. And then we're going to come onto the other side because you got to keep both cheeks even. Um, so yeah, coming onto the other side, you've got 15 second rest, so feel free to have a quick stretch if you want. Ready and go. So bringing the hips up and forward, opening the knees as you lift reminding yourself this this whole movement actually comes from the glutes okay well not the whole movement but that's what you're trying to intentionally squeeze the glutes and produce that force that lifts the hips up and forward and um, so body coming into a nice straight line in terms of the shoulder through to the hip to the knee of the leg on the ground really thrusting intentionally squeezing the glutes to really fully extend at the hip joint you're doing really well and relax awesome so then we're going to come onto our feet and we're going to do i mean i've called these standing hip thrusts but honestly this is like the top end of a deadlift that is what i want you to think more of this as the top end of a deadlift ready and go so pushing the hips back and bringing them forward now this might look super easy like nothing's happening but i want you to push and position your feet so that they're just a little bit wider than hip width apart turn your feet out squeeze the glutes as you thrust forward with force so i want you to keep a good pelvic tilt core engaged but you're literally bringing the hips up and through as you squeeze nice and tight so um you this is kind of the end of a deadlift so if you had a weight in front of you and um, then you would be really using the glutes to generally generate that force to come to an upright position this is what the glutes do so well extending at the hip joints so just squeezing and relax you can get a lot done with a mind and muscle connection awesome so then we are going to have a few seconds rest and then we're going to come on to some in and outs ready and go now you can stand by a chair or by a wall if you want to keep your balance i'm actually working on my balance right now so i just do them free handed free whatever you want to call it and um, so what we are doing is we are isolating the movement of one leg and we are bending at the knee around about a 90 degree angle and we're going to bring the leg out to the side and then back behind us so really using the glutes to control the movement of the leg as you bring it out to the side and up behind us so i want you to try and get as good a range of motion as your flexibility will allow i know that it's awkward standing on one leg but you're also getting a pretty good burn in the leg that's keeping you standing anyway um, and relax so yeah we're going to try that again but on the other leg and um, so again shake it off if you need to have a drink if you need to and go 
standing on that one leg, weight through the heels, keeping good balance as well as you can. If you lose your balance a bit, that's okay. Just hold on to something or as I just did, just tap your foot to the ground, take a breath and go back up. So really bringing that leg up and out to the side as much as you can and um, as much as your flexibility allows and behind you. So when the leg comes behind you, you can think of it like you're doing donkey kicks. You know, the exercise we do when you know, you're know you on your hands and knees and you kick the leg up and back. So we're keeping a good still trunk and just isolating the movement of that leg as we really bring the leg up and back behind us, using the glutes to really squeeze those final few degrees. Well done and relax. Then we're coming back onto our side for more side hip thrusts. You are about to feel this burn. <laughs> Ready and go. So again, just getting the feel of this movement. So it's almost like your hips are coming through diagonally. So forward and up. Squeezing the glutes. Nice and relaxed in the feet. Arm is just there to support really being intentionally powerful about this don't be passive about the movements that you do you guys this is not exercise is not a passive thing you have to really activate intentionally squeeze and generate that force especially when you're doing body weight exercises so intentionally generate that force as you thrust the hips forward and relax coming onto the other side again you can stretch it out if you need to I was feeling a little bit tight, so just stretching that glutes, and it feels so, so good. That burn sounds a bit psychotic, but anyway. I'm ready and go. All right, you're doing really well. Lifting the glutes up nice and strong, opening the knees out as you reach the end point when your hips are up and off the ground doing really well, squeezing through, generating that force, really feeling the burn in the cheek closest to the floor, doing really well, keep pushing, breathe through it, nice core control, just a few more, and relax, well done, and then we're going to come back up onto our feet, and we're doing some more of these standing hip Thrusts. Ready and go. Push the hips back and thrust up and forward. Think of it as like the top end of a deadlift. So really kind of generating that power. Like you can you can see when my hips lock in as I fully extend. You can see the force that's being generated. Like my thighs are actually shaking as I reach that maximum point because I'm intentionally putting a lot of force on this standing upright squeezing glutes feet turned out doing really well keep going getting that top end move the finishing part of a deadlift and relax for 15 nearly there can you feel it because i can feel it all right and then we're going to do some in and outs again hold on to something if you need to ready and go standing on one leg bring the leg out and behind you in and out so keeping about a 90 degree bend in the leg weight through the heels of the leg that's planted sitting back a tiny bit slight bend in the knee really lifting that leg out to the side and then bringing it behind you and extending it back so really getting that squeeze in the glutes as you get to the extremities of your range of movement. You shouldn't be shy, so keep a good range of movement in this, okay? That's how you really are going to squeeze the last out of it. And relax. And then we're going to do the other leg. Ready and go. Powering through, you're doing so well. Nice and controlled. Don't get lazy on it. I want that back leg coming up. Nice and high when you put it to the back. So nice and high, really squeezing that glute. And up and out to the side. Keep going. Really 
controlling that leg movement to get a nice big range of motion. You're doing so well, you're nearly there. Just a few more. And relax, well done. Your workout is complete, you did it, well done. Can you feel your glutes? If you can't feel them after this, then just do it again. <laughs> Thanks so much for working out with me, you guys. I love you so much. I will see you in my next video. Yeah. Thanks. Let me know how you found it and if you're like aching too, because I would love to know. See you soon. Bye.